Hi guys! Today, we are going to set up multiple IP cameras up to 600 feet far away from our network switch and the router using just a single Ethernet cable. Now, with the use of the PoE power switch, we're making the setup easier and more cost-effective to install the whole surveillance system in the remote location. Now, if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below and we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you. Now, the biggest challenge here is to install multiple cameras because we have to pull a bunch of long cable. When the distance is over 328 feet, that's about 100 meters, we'll also need a PoE extension tool like a PoE extender. So if we have to add multiple devices in this distance, we also have to add the PoE extender at each long run cable separately. But with the PoE power switch, we don't have to do this at all. Now let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you the whole setup. So here we are in front of the board. Today, we are going to connect three IP cameras and an access point using the PoE power switch. Now, the PoE power switch can receive power from the PoE switch or the injector, and then use that power to provide power to the other PoE-enabled devices at the edge. It can eliminate the need for separate power source and simplify the installation. It can also double the maximum distance between the PSE and the PD from 100 meter to 200 meter to extend your gigabit network connectivity. And also it has seven ports available. Let's take a closer look. Actually, it has eight port in total. So why do I say seven port available? Because port number eight is the input port. So the rest of the port are the output port. The total power budget of the PoE power switch is about 72 watts. And for each port can provide up to 30 watts of power. And the other feature here, we can see this is a heat dissipation. So it can prevent water and even moisture to get in, but let the hot air out of the outdoor enclosure. So it's IP67 waterproof. Now, without saying, let's do the connection from the beginning. So let's do the connection from the beginning. I have router here to provide the main network. This is the monitor and the NVR. The images will show up later on after I connect it with the IP cameras. Now, this is the 90 watt PoE switch. Why are we using the 90 watt? Because we need to get enough power to supply for the multiple IP cameras at the edge. And remember, our PoE pass-through switch has maximum of 72 watts of power. So you might wonder, shouldn't it be 90 watts? Why is it 72? Because their power loss occur during the transmission in the Ethernet cable. That's why when it gets to the PoE power switch, it's about 72 watts. Now, this is using the 802.3 BT standard, so it will use up all four pairs of the wires in the Ethernet cable. Now, without saying, let's do the connection together. Now, I'm going to use the short patch cord here to connect the router with the NVR. And then using another short patch cord to connect with our PoE switch. Let's plug it in. You can see the power source is already plugged in. That's why the lights are on. Now I'm using the Ethernet cable here to connect with our PoE switch. Now this is a 100 meter Ethernet cable. And let's come over this side to our PoE power switch. Now, the PoE power switch has eight ports in total. Remember, only port number eight is the input port. So I'm going to connect with port number eight here. And you can see the light is on. Now I'm going to connect with four IP devices. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug in all four ports first, and then connect to the edge devices one by one. Let me just plug in all four of them. 
Okay, now I'm going to plug in the IP cameras. I have three in total. And the indicated light you can see are getting on. It's getting power and both data. And you can see here, this is an other 100 meter ethernet cable. That means the PoE power switch can extend for another 100 meter. That's 200 meter in total. And I'm going to connect it with the ethernet cable. All right, we can also see the indicated light is on. Everything is working already. Let's take a look at the monitor. All right, three IP cameras are all on. Let me wave my hands to show you this is a live video. And they're all working now. As you can see, there's only a single ethernet cable require in between so you don't have to pull a bunch of cable from the PoE switch to the edge devices. The PoE power switch can also provide up to seven ports available and there's no external power source needed. It can work with PoE enabled devices and also non-PoE device. Now this is the outdoor version there are also an indoor version PoE power switch but I would prefer you choose the outdoor version for a higher stability. One more thing, if you are doing a connect PoE connection, make sure you choose a pure copper cable like the Cat5e or Cat6 because copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials, so it can provide stable power delivery. And the IP67 waterproof PoE power switch here can work under a harsh environment. The working temperature range is from minus 25 degrees up to 60 degrees. But if you want to install IP cameras outdoor in a further distance, I can recommend you to use the fiber optic cable. It can provide high speed and low latency and also longer distance. And this is the video on how to use the fiber optic cable to connect with multiple IP cameras. Now, thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.